The name of the experiment is Otterberg limit test. For liquid limit test, use a sample prepared by wet preparation method according to TS1900. Test the sample from 400 micron sieve. Take at least 200 gram of air dry soil remained under the test sieve. Add distilled water very slowly. Using the palette knife, mix up the soil truly until it becomes a thick, homogeneous paste. Be careful not to add too much water. Allow the paste to stand in an airtight container for about 24 hours to let the water permeate through the soil mix. A liquid limit device is used to determine the liquid limit of the sample. Make sure that the device is dry. A grooving tool is used to make a cut on the sample. Adjust the height to which the cup of the liquid limit device is lifted, so that when the cup is raised to its maximum height, the 10 mm gauge will just pass between it and the base. Put some water in the device. And observe that the mid portion of the soil will be at the same elevation when it is inserted in the device. Remove water. That process is just for understanding of the device nature. Take the sample from container. and place a portion of the soil water mixture in the cup by means of a pallet knife. Label the surface parallel to the base. Divide the soil in the cup by drawing the grooving tool along the diameter through the center of hinge at the same time holding it normal to the surface of the cup with chamfered edge facing the direction of movement. Turn the crank at the rate of 2 revolutions per second until the two parts of the soil come into contact at the bottom of the groove along a distance of 13 mm. Record the number of drops. Take a sample from that soil. Weigh it. And determine the moisture content. Draw the flow curve and determine the liquid limit of the soil. Repeat the test to get more accurate results. In the second part of the test, plastic limit will be determined. A 3 mm diameter bar and a glass plate will be used in the test. Take about 20 gram from the sample and form a bowl.
place the sample into the skater. Use dry soil sample to change the water content of the sample. After 24 hours, remove the soil from the skater. Mix it truly with dry soil. Do not forget, the test should be repeated several times by changing the water content. Take a piece from sample. By using the first finger and thumb of each hand, roll the soil to a diameter of 3 mm. Use the bar to see that the soil is now 3 mm in diameter. Place the crumbled soil thread into a suitable container. Determine the moisture content. The water content when the soil is cracked gives the plastic limit of the sample. 